A United Nations meeting to discuss an arms embargo on Myanmar is due to start in a few hours. A vote on a, a non-binding resolution is expected. The draft text calls on all member states to stop the flow of arms into Myanmar. It also condemns the coup of February the 1st, urging the military to end all violence against protesters. If approved, the text would call on the military to allow a visit by a UN special envoy. It would also endorse ASEAN's five-point consensus. Will Densler joins us live now from New York for more on this story. Will, the draft resolution has been weeks in the making, hasn't it? John, that's absolutely right. It was back in May that ASEAN nations essentially put a stop to this draft resolution that had been circulated by Western nations. They wanted more of a uniform consensus from the United Nations General Assembly. So a lot of this squabbling was really on the language when it came to this arms embargo uh, that has been called for. Now, back in May, that draft text, we understand, included and called for the immediate suspension of the direct and indirect supply, sale and transfer of all weapons, munitions and other military-related equipment to Myanmar. We understand from this new draft text uh, that is being circulated, it calls to prevent the flow of arms to Myanmar. A reason for this, ASEAN wanting to show a, so, a show of wider solidarity and support. Some diplomats even believe that a consensus could be reached without a vote even being needed at the United Nations General Assembly. Now, what is the significance of uh, this move from the General Assembly? Of course, it is very separate from the United Nations Security Council. That means that unlike a UN Security Council resolution, it is uh, not legally binding. However, there's plenty of political weight behind such a move. Well, Will, uh, the Security Council meeting is also taking place. So what's the significance of that meeting? That's right, Dawn. Well, it's believed to be the sixth Security Council meeting since the military takeover uh, back in February. What we're expecting to hear from this uh, closed-door private meeting from the Security Council, we're expecting them to be briefed by the UN's envoy uh, to Myanmar, Christine Schrana Bergener, who's expected, as she has done in the past, to provide a situ a, an update on the humanitarian situation on the ground in Myanmar, as well as talk about the regional impacts uh, that what we're seeing is having uh, in the wider area uh, as well. Now, we're also expecting to hear from Christine Schranner-Bergner, who's expected uh, to address the media after the Security Council meeting. So more details uh, from what she'll be uh, updating the Security Council will be gleaned uh, when she speaks to us in the press here in New York. We can also very much expect council members to have the opportunity to discuss that ASEAN five-point consensus that touched on uh, things like the immediate calls for a cessation of violence that calls for parties to show utmost restraints as well as to engage in dialogue. So this is certainly seen uh, as a huge opportunity for the Security Council to glean what ASEAN uh, is proposing and really push further uh, for those proposals to be implemented. Thank you, Will. Will Denslow there in New York.